will get the two incomes. I will get the two incomes because good morning. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I haven't even edited the vlog from the week that was, but I thought, you know what, I just got to keep on pumping of the recording because I know, I know whether today or tomorrow or next week, at some point, time will slow down for your girl to have a moment, a freaking moment to edit. Anyways, I'm just getting dressed for work today, right? I'm getting dressed for work and I have a million things in my mind. At the moment, I am hoping for an opportunity, which will see, hoping for an opportunity, which will see that I move houses. I just don't want to talk about it too much now, but yeah. Anyway, so with this opportunity, I have to uh, pack a bag. I have to stay out of the house for a few um for two days okay i'm going to work today and I'm, I'm not gonna be coming back home i'm gonna be going straight to the place where i'm doing the trial this week is crazy this week is so crazy your girl is working so hard to make a better life for herself maybe i just have not been in the constant state of freaking hustle the way i am these days like Sis, I'm just busting my ass to improve. Like, I got a job, I got a second job. I got a second job, I got a better house. I got a better house, now I want a better house, and I want a better job. And it's just like, yes, I'm content. Yes, I'm grateful for everything I have. But, like, it can be better. And it can be better. And my mind always hears, my mind always hears and sees every little thing that can get up i need to own my own property i don't know they say you need two incomes to do it but baby i i have i will get the two incomes i will get the two incomes because and then there's, there's the africa day farm right which is when all the leaders in new zealand come and they're trying to decide on a Anyways, it's a big meeting. It's a very important meeting. Um, and I'm grateful to be a part of it and to be even going, you know, as a member of the Kofi executive. Like, I am grateful to be going and being a part of it. How I landed in this space, y'all, only God knows why. <laughs> only God knows why. Baby, I went there just to... I went there just to have something to do just to go and see what's going on and then boom your girl got a title not complaining it's, it's you know god does what god does but yeah the whole thing has just become a bit of a monster in a good way a bit of a monster in a good way is that is that an oxymoron then the following day which is a saturday i have africa day which is the biggest monster of them all. In the past, I've performed at Africa Day. I've performed at Africa Day when it used to be in the halls. I sang in the little community halls. I've performed, I think, two years ago when it was the first time I was at Sailor Park. And it's just interesting to be at Africa Day in a different umbrella, like as a, I don't know, kind of part of the leadership organization team. I'm basically mostly in the social media administration type aspect of Africa Day. Um yeah and I'm excited for it. I'm I'm excited for it to happen, for it to be a big bouncing big ass success and for us to all breathe oxygen. <sighs> but we thank God, you know, we thank God for all that's happening. <laughs> Like, what the heck, Gina? 
but you know, like I said, I just wanted to capture some pretty cool stuff. The neighborhood, which by the special grace of God won't be my neighborhood for much longer. But yeah, ciao, ciao. This is the reality of my job. I'm going for a walk to go and buy snacks for afternoon tea for a child safety program that I'm doing. So, yeah, I literally have to buy my own food. There's no one that does it, like, independently ran by me, but it's cool. Like, I get to walk in this beautiful sun. Um, just walking to pack and save. Yeah. I haven't learned how to not take work home and I used to feel like I had a bit of a balance but uh, no I don't. I need to really work on some sort of life, work, social life balance. And then now I'm going to that opportunity I told you guys about. <sighs> oh, I so badly want to tell you everything about it like all the details. I want to give all the gloss of the details. This is how I have to carry my stuff, look. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna call this lady and let her know that I'm heading back to her now. Good morning, good morning. As you can tell, I'm in a much different place. I am um, at that trial place i told you guys about trial opportunity place and now i need a run because i've got the african leaders forum happening where we're nominating new leaders for i'll film what they're talking about i actually need a run because i'm running late i just made our last post for africa day which is the lineup <laughs> Let me get my ass out so I'm not too late for this forum. But yeah, my first night on the trial I think went well, but I'll hear back from the lady that's hiring me tomorrow, this afternoon. So yeah, fit check. So I went to the wrong, yo, I went to the wrong place. One thing that don't know me is how like, I don't fear disappointing people anymore like before even if I was genuinely like disadvantaged or I really did my best to make something happen and it didn't happen I would feel so bad and then if someone else is now disappointed in me yo I would f I would just feel so bad but now I'm just like like and then, and then, like, I, I really woke up, got ready, rushed my ass out, went to the address that I thought was current or still on the poster. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I'm not blaming anybody. That's not the point of, of this, of what I'm saying. The point of what I'm saying is, like, just that feeling of, oh, my goodness, I disappointed this person, and then feeling nervous, and then feeling so bad, and then looking, feeling bad about myself, and worrying about the person, and whether they are so angry or sad towards me my god i used to put so much emotional pressure on myself i didn't even know how chica was a functioning person because emotionally i was constantly stressed i was constantly trying to please people and the crazy thing is the peace i think what i'm just trying to get at is the peace i feel at just and the content i feel um at that amount at the amount that i'm able to do for people you know what i mean like i don't know before i would be thinking of other ways to discomfort myself to squeeze my life to 
do what else I can even break my neck <laughs> to accommodate people this people pleasing thing had me on a chokehold it's crazy to me because I used to think I always thought I was a big bad girl because I'm feisty and stuff right I'm loud when I was younger anyway now I'm pretty chill when I was younger, I was loud, I was feisty, I was sweet as well, but like, you know, I was that girl. Trust me, baby, I was that, I was her. I was very much her. And if someone said, oh, you're like people pleasing. If you said that to me a couple years ago, I'd be like, I don't know, like me, I do whatever I want. No, I do not. I do whatever you want. I do whatever is gonna make everybody happy and with me. And now I'm just like, what the heck? That is dumb. Why did I do that? There were more people coming. We've got more than a hundred people actually registered and being. Um, it's raining cats and dogs but i dipped nice and early because i dipped nice and early what was i gonna say oh my god because as a workaholic i am i have to go back to my two other jobs job but I'm currently working to my second job my secondary role which is a counseling role I was just checking on the lady that I'm she seems happy anyway so I'm just working on that 